send the Negro kids home. What? You can't control the mob. Now, we'd better get Collada. J.O. is rounding up the others. But that's just what we've been trying to put forward. I mean, there's nothing going on here. It's all outside. Well, what happens if the outside decides to come inside? Now, we can't chance it. Oh, but Jess. I mean, this it's a combustible situation. Now, for their own safety, I want those kids away from here. Then maybe we can clear out that crowd. All right. I'll go get Carlotta.
great victory, but it's just the first step. Right. Yeah. back tomorrow. Well, what happens then? The same thing? At this point, it's out of our hands. We're educators, not policemen. Trouble is, the policemen say they can't handle it either. Then I guess it's up to the president. The next night, what some called the occupation of Little Rock began. President Eisenhower federalized the Arkansas National Guard, and over 1,000 members of the 101st Airborne Division were flown in from Kentucky. Daily Bulletin, September 25th. Some current rumors need correction. Number one, there has been no violence in this building. Number two, no pupil was forced to stay in school. Number three, no classroom door can be locked so it won't be opened from inside. Number four, no teachers have resigned. Number five, all teachers are carrying on the school program with the welfare of all students in mind. This morning's special assembly, we will be addressed by General Thomas Woods, commander of this military district. So let's give him our usual warm Central High School welcome. All right. I can't tell you how long we'll be here, but we'll try not to disrupt any of your normal activities. Our men, have been instructed not to socialize. They are not to be engaged in conversation or made the object of humorous or derogatory remarks. Keep in mind, they have a difficult job to do. Finally, some people are saying that our presence here is a violation of states' rights. Now, that's a distortion of the facts. We are simply enforcing the law of the land, and our primary job is to keep order. I know many of you are not in agreement with the decision of the federal court, but I ask you as good citizens to help us carry it out in a peaceful and orderly fashion. Thank you very much. I'm sure we all appreciate General Wood's remarks. And I know we'll follow his suggestions. Howard, it's all yours. Will everyone please rise for the retirement of the flags? I don't know what to do about this phone call. The White House, what do they want? Well, they want to know if the Negro kids are in school yet. Well, they're due here in 10 minutes. Well, how am I supposed to know that? Nobody tells me anything. I don't even know how I can be sure it's the White House calling. Why don't you let one of the FBI men take care of it? What FBI men? The ones back there. Can't you tell from the haircuts? I just wish somebody would keep me in form.
heavy from now. Everybody hold it. Just a minute. That's good. Well, good morning, boys and girls. Good morning. Mrs. Huckabee, Mr. Powell, and I want to wish you well. If you have any questions whatsoever, please don't hesitate to come to any one of us. This is the first period, and you all know your way to your classes, so... Captain? Caroline? Good to have you. Yes, of course. Elizabeth? J.O.? Now, uh, General Woods says he wants our suggestions for establishing procedures. Now, uh, all of this is happening so you quickly You know, I that... think, uh, Jess, I think it would be a good idea if, if I gave up my classes for a while. Now, why would you want to do that? Well, so that J.O. and I could be available in case anybody needs us. Fire brigade? <laughs> Maybe. You sure you want to stop teaching? It, it'd just be temporary, not, not permanent. Want to bet? All right. There'll be further information on this matter during the lunch hour. Yes, sir. Thank you. Um, I think we should post a guard on each floor. No, no, you need at least two guards on each floor because of the angle of the, of the hallways here. Here's the, uh, the faculty roster right there, and this is the teacher's handbook. Now, of course, the important thing here is the bell schedule for the classes. And we'll keep the newsmen and the photographers away from the building. Absolutely. Yes. The main problem is identification. There's so damn many students. We picked up five kids this morning. Don't even go here. They're just hanging around trying to make trouble. And, and another thing, you know, it is very difficult to teach with all the noise from the crowds outside. That can be taken care of. We'll deploy our lines on a wider perimeter and keep the crowd away from Park Street. Something wrong? You know, it's just this talk about lines and perimeters makes me feel like I'm in a war zone or something. Excuse me. Uh, Mrs. Pettyjohn just took a call in the outer office. Uh, a man, he wouldn't give his name, said the school was going to be blown up at noon. Do you recognize the voice? Um, no, sir. Could it have been a student? I don't know. Um... I don't think so. He, he seemed older, and he spoke very quickly, and then he just hung up. It's another hoax. They want us to close down. We can't take that chance. Uh, I'll have my men conduct a search, but first we got to get the kids out of here. You know, there is one way we could do it without having to shut down. What's that? Couldn't we have a fire drill? 